Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so I just want to quickly go through my shop, my stash items that I've been using for the past week and a half, two weeks. I think I'm getting pretty close to two weeks, you guys, with using my shop, my stash stuff. So that's good for me. <laughs> but anyway, I just want to go through these, kind of give you my thoughts, and then that way I can move on and film a new shop, my stash so I can start out you know with some new products let's just start out with the duds okay complete dud this is the billion dollar brows best brow kit ever yeah not for me not for me at all it comes with the you know the brow pencil with the spoolie on the end it has the double ended highlight and conceal pencil it has a smudger brush as well as a brow gel this did not work for me at all. It was gray on me. I didn't like it. And it was just like, no. So that is going, I don't know where that's going because I don't know anybody with gray brows. <laughs> so I don't know where that's going, but I don't want it. Okay. Now next for my primers, let's just say, well, you know what? Let me talk about um, serum and moisturizer because I did actually stop using my serum and moisturizer and stuff because I am trying out some from Good Molecules because I want to just stick to those and see how they work for me. I did pick this Blur Priming Serum from Revolution. I picked this out, did not try it, didn't even try this yet. So I might keep this in for next week. For moisturizer, I got this Glassy um, touch and soul. This is their pretty filter glassy skin balm. <laughs> now I already know I really like this stuff. That's one reason why I picked it because I want to try and finish this. But like I said, I stopped using it, but this is amazing. I love this stuff. And then for face oil, I did pick this Elemis. It's one that I got from my BoxyCharm. It's their Elemis Rose Facial Oil. And I used this a couple of times very nice, very lightweight. It's not heavy or greasy. It doesn't weigh your skin down or anything. It feels really good. So I will continue to use this. But with face oils, I only use them periodically anyway. So it's not something that is going to, or that I'm going to go through quickly. I definitely <laughs> have face oils that are going to last me a long time. Okay, so back to primer. I picked out three primers. The first one is this Wet n Wild Water Drop Primer. I actually had kept this, I believe, from my previous Shop My Stash to continue to use. I don't remember. No, I kept this in my Shop My Stash because I purchased this <laughs> while I was in the middle of a Shop My Stash and I did like um, trying out new drugstore products. So I did actually just keep this in my Shop My Stash. And this product, in my opinion, for me is basically useless. It just feels like I'm putting water on my face. It didn't do anything with my pores. I don't even feel like it really primed my skin. And to me, it's just a, a wasted product. So I, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. <laughs> Next, I picked my Too Faced uh, primed and peachy primer. I picked this just because of the fact that I know that I like this primer. I love this primer a lot. Very nice to mattify and blur out your pores. I love this stuff. But the only reason I picked this was because I wasn't sure about this. Okay. This is the e.l.f. Dewdrop Jelly Pop <laughs> primer okay you guys know i picked this up to try it out because it's supposed to be like a dupe for the milk makeup one and so many people love it that i wanted to try it so i did throw this in my shop my stash and y'all i like this primer i do i like it a lot i just put a nice thin coat on my face and it really does hold my makeup in place. I like it a lot. It's not that annoying sticky. It's just barely tacky to where you know it's there, but I like this stuff. So I didn't even need this Too Faced Prime and Peachy Primer because I like this and I'm going to keep this in my Shop My Stash for next week. Now, quickly for brows, I did go ahead and grab my e.l.f. Brow Pomade. This is one that I've used for years. I love it. I already know that I love it. But I had started using my e.l.f. Um, brow pencil. 
and I have been using that for a few weeks and so I wanted to go back to pomade just to kind of see which one I really prefer I definitely prefer the pomade even though pencil is really easy the pomade is as well it's quick and it turns out a little bit darker for me I think so I actually like the pomade better so I'm probably going to stick with that as well now let's talk about the foundations that I chose for this week um I had already been using this black radiance what is it color perfect liquid makeup because i've never tried any foundation from black radiance and so i grabbed this at walmart for like four or five bucks just to try it out i love this stuff oh my goodness you guys if you like just a lightweight natural non-heavy coverage you will like this this is not full coverage but for me, it's like medium, so it's good enough. All I do when I use this is I go in with some of the Pretty Vulgar Concealer because I really like the Pretty Vulgar Concealer to actually conceal because it's like the same color as my skin. So I go in with that like under my eyes and around my mouth. And then I put this foundation on top using a sponge, a damp sponge. Oh my gosh. I mean, I have it on right now. So if you like my complexion right now, then you might like this foundation and want to try it for four or five bucks. Hello. <laughs> so I like this and I think this is probably going to stay in my stash, even if I kind of switch out with other foundations, because if I want just more of a nice natural tone, this is really working for me. And the color is really good for me as well. I have caramel. So this is the color caramel. Now, the other two foundations I chose for this week is this Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. I have used this a couple of times. I um, actually need to finish a video doing, um, you know, a full review for this foundation. Just some general information. It definitely does leave your face looking hydrated and dewy. It does last a long time for me. Um, even after I powder, I still look dewy <laughs> with this foundation. I do like the shade that I have. I think I have F13. And yeah, if you are oily or you know, you don't really like dewy foundations, then steer clear of this because although it is it is full, full coverage, okay? I don't know what it says as far as coverage goes, but honey, this is full coverage. So I try to just use a little bit, you know, when I'm using it, but it's a nice foundation if you like that kind of dewy look because it does last, so. But I'm still in the process of testing it out. Born to Glow, I chose this because I wasn't sure about those two new foundations. I was like, what if I don't like them? I need something to use. And so I did grab this. I only used it once though, just because, why did I use it? I don't know why I used it, but I only used it once and I still love this foundation. Funny thing is, I actually like how the Black Radiance makes my face look better than this. <laughs> okay, so just FYI. Okay, for concealers, like I mentioned earlier, I did grab my Pretty Vulgar that I got in my BoxyCharm um, to use because I knew with using that black, black Radiance foundation that I was going to want to use this for concealing my dark areas under my eyes and stuff. So I really, really like this Pretty Vulgar concealer. I do. I know it's probably going to be a little bit out of my price range as far as concealers go, but it's very nice. It does smell like paint though. So if you have issues with that kind of stuff, you won't like it, but yeah, it does kind of smell like paint, but it's very nice coverage. Excellent coverage. And also for concealer, I chose my NYX Born to Glow Concealer because this is one that I know works amazing for me. So I didn't really want to have any issues this week, <laughs> but I am going to put this away and use something else for the upcoming week. So yeah, great concealer, NYX Born to Glow. Not surprised about that at all. Okay, so for powders, I chose this Beauty Bakery Flower Powder. I tried this out because my girl DJ is in love with this powder. So I was like, you know what? Let me try it out and see what's happening. Speaking of DJ, these earrings are from her boutique, okay? So if you like these cute little moon earrings, you know, with the little holographic colors, um, 
they are available on her boutique i will link it in my description box i know last time she um had to restock because she was sold out on some things so yeah i know that she has some of these now as well as some other styles too ones that i wore before so check out her shop get your shop on okay very reasonably priced and so cute okay you guys know spring and summer is coming so hook it on up okay but anyways yes this powder i love this powder it is really really nice very light not heavy at all now i actually would like to get a lighter shade because this is more of my skin tone shade and i only use loose powders for under my eyes that's it i don't use it for the rest of my face i use a pressed powder for that so this is basically my skin tone so it doesn't help to brighten under my eyes like i like to do sometimes so i might actually pick up a lighter shade of this this is actually the shade almond which i thought would be light enough but for me it's not it's like an all over shade for me to set so but i love the powder itself for pressed powder i've been using my l'oreal true match powder and this is a pressed powder. This is the shade that I have. What shade is this? It'll be in the description box. Y'all know I can't see. But this is a shade that I have. Matches me perfectly. I love it. It sets my face nicely all day. I like this stuff. Do I like it better than my Too Faced uh, multi-use powder? Nah, it's hard to top that because I really like that powder, but this is this is good. This is really, really good. It's very, it's a very good option if you don't want to pay for the Too Faced because I know that's a little pricey. I think the Too Faced is maybe like about 37 or 39 bucks. And you guys know L'Oreal from the drugstore is not pricey at all. So yeah, you might want to try it if you're looking for a good setting powder. Now I did pick out a few bronzers. <laughs> Cause I wasn't really sure what was happening. Um, I did go ahead. Let me start with this one. This one is my Morphe Showmance bronzer. It comes in this little square plastic packaging. Really cute. They have a mirror in there and everything. And it has like a bronzer and a contour thing. I really use this, you know, to bronze with. Don't really touch this too much. This one here is just kind of like a lighter type of contour or bronzer you know if you just want something you know if you're lighter than me or if you want it you know maybe you can mix these together so this one is not so dark but this one is like the perfect bronzer shade for me i really really like it i don't have it on today but it works out great i i like this a lot now this one here is my covergirl's full spectrum so this is what this one looks like. This one is considerably darker in my opinion as far as bronzing goes. So if I want something a little bit more deep, more rich, then I use this. So I did use this as well this week. I used both of them um, just depending on how I felt or you know what I, what I wanted my face to look like. I love this one too. This one is bomb. It looks like it might be too dark, but when you put it on, like if you're my skin tone or deeper, you can use this, <laughs> you can. It looks really nice and it warms your face just like perfectly. This here is the Milani bronzer. I did pull this one as well because I haven't used this in a long, long time. I didn't use it this week. <laughs> I didn't use it this week either. It smells like perfume. If you're familiar with this bronzer, you know it smells just like perfume. But yeah, I didn't use this, so I don't have much to say about it because I know I like it. It's a little bit more red toned, but I didn't use it. I just used the other two. Okay, for highlighter, I did go ahead and grab this e.l.f. Glow Gleam Beam Highlighter. It's one of my newer ones that I purchased from Ulta or the e.l.f. website. One of them, I don't remember. You guys... Oh, these highlighters are so, so pretty. What I've been doing is basically just dragging my brush through these two. I kind of fell in love with those two mixed together. So I just kind of drag my brush through those two and just get my gleam on. I do have it on today, if you're curious. This side is popping, huh? <laughs> 
but that's what she looks like. I do have her on today. I love this highlighter. I mean, I am going to put her away though because I have a million other highlighters that I need to play with. But yeah, that one, bomb. Now, this other highlighter that I grabbed is from Wet n Wild, and this is one of their new ones, the Hello Halo Blush Blush Lighter. And I know everyone has seen this because it's brand new and everybody's talking about it. So it has like the blush and the highlighter. And the one I have is a deeper one. It's called Flash Me. Absolutely gorgeous. I did not use this. I think the highlighter kind of scared me a little bit because it does have like glitter particles in it. And I don't like glitter particles on my face, <laughs> not on purpose. So yeah, those are the colors for the blush and for the highlight. And I mean, I think they're really, really pretty. I mean, look at that. It's gorgeous. I just never got around to using it. And like I said, I just never felt like having glitter on my face, but I probably will keep this for the upcoming week. Probably, because I do want to try it out. Okay, for blush, I did pick two blush palettes to play with. I picked the Saharan Volume 1. And this is how this palette looks. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, super bright, bold, vibrant blushes and beautiful highlighters. I did use this maybe twice. And I already know, you know, I love it. Juvie's Place is the bomb, highly pigmented. Her highlighters are amazing. So yeah, I did use this a couple of times and I still love it. But <laughs> I absolutely fell in love with this Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Kit. This gradient one, yo, listen. You guys, this, oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. I mix these two shades together. Every time I go in here, I just mix those two shades together. I use this one, bomb. It's ridiculously pigmented, so you got to be careful with that. But mixing these two shades together, that's what I have on my cheeks today, okay? It is just so soft and beautiful and gorgeous. I love it. So, so pretty. So it's going to be hard for me to put this away <laughs> and pick something else because it is so bomb. Oh my gosh. I love this. It's going to be really hard for me to not pick that again. Okay. Almost done. So for eyeshadow primer, I've been using the e.l.f. All Day Stay eyeshadow primer. Shocking but it works amazingly. I mean, my eyeshadow blends, it goes on so easily, it blends out nicely. It stays all day. I don't have creasing issues and stuff. I'm really shocked at this e.l.f. primer or this e.l.f. eyeshadow primer because it's not like, it comes out like this kind of pasty consistency it's like a peach color but you know when you blend it out on your lid it just disappears so it's like you know that the base is there ready for shadow but it just it just disappears and honey it works i have no complaints about this eyeshadow primer so if you're looking for something that is not like super bright or white or just you know a base for your shadow that is not super opaque, then you might want to try it out because, honey, you know e.l.f. is very affordable. For eyeliner, you guys know I always use the same eyeliner, my NYX Matte Liquid Eyeliner. <laughs> if I'm not using that, I'm using my Wet n Wild Liquid Eyeliner. I really don't have many choices. I, well, I take that back. I do have several choices for eyeliner. I'm just very picky. <laughs> I don't like wasting my time. Y'all know eyeliner is hard enough as it is and just be trying stuff willy-nilly. Ain't nobody got time for that. So yeah, I use my NYX and I'm probably going to keep using my NYX. And lastly, for mascara, you guys know I chose the Essence. Both of these are Essence, actually. This is the Essence Lash Princess. And this one is the Essence Super Curl. Um, I found myself gravitating more to the Essence Super Curl. And that was because of the fact that I prefer the applicator on this. The applicator is, you know, of course, that spiky plastic type applicator and I just feel like I can get to my lower lash line better with this and I'm able to separate and 
lift my upper lashes better with this type of applicator. I think using the Thrive Cosmetics for so long kind of got me used to using that type of applicator and I actually kind of miss it. <laughs> I know I complained about that Thrive Cosmetics for so long and now I miss it. <laughs> But this is what the Lash Princess looks like. You know, it's just your regular basic fluffy mascara wand. Um, not too, too big though. You know, not too, too big, but it's your regular type of wand. So I do prefer the Super Curl over the Lash Princess, but quite honestly, neither one of these did does that much for my lashes. Just being honest, being real. Neither one of them give me the length and the volume and just the va va voom that I like, especially for my lower lash line. Since I've been wearing, you know, lashes lately, I don't really worry too much about my upper lashes if I put anything on there at all. But my lower lashes, that Thrive, you guys know, it had my lower lashes looking like little spiders. So neither one of these are all that great to me. They're just okay. So I might be trying something new. And I also tried out this LA Girl Volumatic Mascara. Um, I had this before. This one I actually like better than both of the Essence ones because it does give me that, you know, hard plastic spiky applicator. And with the size, I can get my lower lashes good and I can also get my upper lashes good. So I would say out of the three, I like this one the best, the LA Girl Volumatic Mascara. So I might actually be keeping this in my shop, my stash for a while. So you guys know I didn't pick any palettes because I don't like to pick palettes. I might pick a few palettes in my next one though, because I know you guys like to see palettes, but I didn't pick any because I knew that there were specific palettes that I wanted to use and play with. And it's typically ones that I film with. So don't have any palettes, but that's everything from my shop, my stash, my thoughts and opinions <laughs> on those products. That's it, you guys. So thanks so much for hanging out with me. I am going to do another video shortly because I need to pick some new items and you guys can help me shop. Okay, so thanks for hanging out and I will see you on my next video.